Anybody else lose their fingernails after Bristol? A fantastic weekend of racing across all three series is definitely giving us a much clearer picture in terms of the championship hunt for all three series. And is there a NASCAR Truck Series champion who could be making a little bit of a comeback? I'm Michael Carey, and welcome to this week's Rundown. All three races this weekend felt like it was pure, raw aggression and chaos, and I can't even tell you which race was the favorite for me. The major news coming from this weekend is that we now know the round of 12 contenders for the Cup Series, and on top of that, the Xfinity Series finally have solidified their own round of 12 to figure out who's contending for that championship title. Michael McDowell, Kurt Busch, Tyler Reddick, and Eric Almirola have all been eliminated from championship contention on the Cup side, and the round of 12 is set. Kevin Harvick just squeaked in thanks to a great performance at Bristol, and we all know how that one ended. And Kyle Larson, that dude just cannot be beat, it seems like. As for the Xfinity Series, the final few races sent the bottom of the playoff standings into a pretty good shuffle. However, it was Brandon Jones, Riley Herbst, and Jeremy Clements that completed the field of 12 cars to compete for the Xfinity Series title in 2021. Like I said, this weekend in Bristol was just superb all the way around. But one of the big questions for me, could we go all dirt? or all concrete. Todd Bodine has amassed a whopping 794 career starts across all three NASCAR series. Now he just sits six starts away from hitting a major milestone of 800 career starts. It's been a number of years since we've seen Bodine last in a NASCAR Camping World Truck Series entry. Well, who else but Marcus Lomanis is looking to help get the onion to his major milestone but the fans need to show their support. It all started with a single tweet from Lamanis to the New York driver, and the reception has been very clear that fans are ready to see the two-time Truck Series champion back in the series and to participate in his 800th National Series start. Many other names within the sport, including Kenny Wallace and Mark Martin, have also shared their endorsements of the idea. Oddly enough, it wouldn't be the first time that Bodine ran the good Sam Colors. Fans may recall his stint with Red Horse Racing and the number 11 Toyota Tundra. Now, as a NASCAR on Fox personality and a respected name in the truck series, it seems like all of this, it's not really a matter of if, it's more a matter of when. Now, as far as where Brodine could land for these six starts, I'm keeping a solid eye on Nice Motorsports. You might recall in recent years and recent races, they brought back guys like Trevor Bain and Travis Pastrana, you know, these guys who have been in NASCAR before, but their names may have been forgotten a little bit. Now, if it absolutely needs to be a Toyota Tundra, and it kind of feels like it's fitting, Rayon Brothers Racing could be a potential landing spot for Bodine's 800th start. According to Racing Reference, of the 220 starts for Bodine, 212 of those were behind the wheel of a Toyota Tundra. Keep in mind too, both organizations have been backed by Marcus Lomanis and his outdoor adventure shopping conglomerate. College Racing is now one of the hottest organizations in NASCAR as a whole, but especially in the Xfinity Series. With their dominance in the Xfinity Series, the regular season championship under lock and key, thanks to AJ Allmendinger, and this organization is going cup racing in 2022 full time, it seems like it's all positive and all goodwill for Colleg Racing. However, as far as Xfinity goes for next year, the program may take a big hit with the AP's Jenna Fryer reporting that Nutranag will not renew their contract for next season, leaving a significant hole of sponsorship on that 10 car should Colleg remain a three car operation next season. It seems pretty logical that if the void isn't filled on the 10 car, the organization could go down to two cars in the Xfinity series. But with Justin Haley moving to the Cup Series next year in the 16 car for Colleg, that 11 car is a prime seat, and that seat's got to get filled. Now, Kaz Grala seemed like the obvious choice, as Colleg has stated before that they want to keep him in the fold, and also Kaz has made multiple starts in the Cup Series for Colleg Racing in that 16 car. Now, the AP article does mention that if Burton doesn't find a ride for 2022 in the Xfinity Series, he could spend some time in the Cup Series, possibly. Don't forget, Colleg Racing has two charters next season, and you gotta have that second charter on track at all times if they choose to keep it. Remember, this organization is all about trophy hunting, so 
an all-star lineup with this car, a revolving door of sorts, definitely would not be surprising. And some loose ends to tie up before we head to Las Vegas, the brand new 2022 Toyota Tundra was revealed officially to the public this week, sporting a much more aggressive styling and a larger grill design. Now, as far as the potential new Tundra design for 2022 in terms of NASCAR's on-track adoption, expect news on the new Tundra on track for next season in the near future. Stefan Parsons will race full-time for BJ McLeod Motorsports in 2022, the team announced on Tuesday evening via NASCAR Race Hub. Notably, SoCal and Spring Rate will return to Parsons' BJMM entry for the duration of next season. Details on the rest of the McLeod Motorsports lineup are expected at a later date. And one final note, the boys over at Garage Guys Fantasy Sports are hosting a major Talladega party for NASCAR's trip there for the playoffs featuring an open bar, Hooters is catering, and a special performance by Big Baby Scumbag. If you want the details on the event, be sure to check out their Twitter page, at GarageGuysFS. And if you end up going to Talladega for the party, make sure you bring some Tylenol and some Pedialyte. That's going to wrap it up for this week's rundown. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider subscribing. If you subscribe, I promise I will cut back on my Bojangles addiction because, oh my God, it's really bad. Don't forget to paint your side skirts and your spoilers. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in today's episode of The Rundown. If you really enjoyed what you saw, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and keep your eyes on tobychristie.com for the latest news, rumors, and exclusive content from inside the NASCAR garage.